Hey everyone, this video will be an introduction to compression. Compression is our second capacity that we'll be looking at in Steel Structures 1. So starting with some objectives that we want to cover in this video. Uh, first one being, we're going to look at the overview of compressive strength and capacity. And we're going to look at the different factors that affect it. We're also going to look at a general behavior of columns under compression. And we're going to look at different types of buckling, which is a lateral deflection. Uh, which occurs as a side effect of compression and we're, lastly we're going to look at the different measurements or capacities for measuring compressive strength. Now compression if you remember is it's sort of like a pushing force that attempts to shorten a member. Now when it comes to compressive strength and capacity it's not as easy as tension unfortunately because compression also leads to buckling now buckling is a uh, lateral deflection and is very important so we need to take that into account when we determine uh, compressive capacities. Now compressive strength much like tensile strength is determined by various factors and we're going to separate them into two sort of groups uh, under geometric properties we're most concerned with the gross area uh, the length the B on T ratio of plate elements, uh, the second moment of area, as well as the R, which is which stands for our radius of gyration. We're going to look at those factors in a bit more detail later on in our, our videos. Okay, so onto materials, the material properties. We're most concerned with the Young's modulus and Newell's.